All right, so we're gonna work on understanding slope-intercept form. Um, our question is, how can you find an equation of a line that passes through two points if neither of them is the y-intercept? So let's see how we can do that. First thing you wanna do is find the slope. You always need the slope of your line. When you're given two points, we did this in um, the last problem, we can find the slope using our slope formula. So here's our x1, y1, Here's our x2, y2. Um, just a reminder, slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then we just plug in those points. Our y2 is a four, so I'm doing four minus, because there's subtraction in our slope formula. But then I notice that I'm about to write a negative two, so minus a negative two. What happens if you subtract a negative? You can just turn that to addition. That's gonna happen and with your slope formula a lot. You'll notice I'm subtracting a negative, so it turns to a plus. All right, our x2 is three. I write minus because it's subtraction in the formula. I notice my x1 is a negative one. Minus a negative one turns into plus one, so I'm just gonna make that a plus one. All right, four plus two is six. Three plus one is four. Um, we always reduce slope if we can. 6 over 4, you can divide both of those numbers by 2, and we get a slope of 3 halves. Okay, next, we need to use our slope-intercept form to find our y-intercept. So this is actually a really helpful skill you develop in algebra. Our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We just found the m. We know what that is. We have two ordered pairs that we can plug in, an x and a y value, which would allow us to solve for b. So I tend to always just grab the first point. You just need one x and one y. We're gonna take this x, plug it in for this x. We're gonna take this y, plug it in for this y. And we're gonna take this slope and plug it in for the m. When we plug all those values in, so our y value from our ordered pair is negative two, equals our slope is three halves, times our x value is negative one plus b. What we notice is we have this equation where the only unknown is our b value, which is the y-intercept. So now we'll just do some math and solve for b. When you multiply fractions over here, 3 halves times negative 1, think of that as a negative 1 over 1, you get negative 2 equals, that's going to give us a negative 3 halves plus b. Solving for b, we're going to add 3 halves to both sides. And our b value, which is our y-intercept, is equal to a negative 2 plus 3 halves. So let me just show you that fraction work off on the side. You have a negative 2 over 1 plus a 3 over 2. Anytime you guys add fractions, you need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2. So I get that 2 common denominator. And we get negative 4 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Now we can add those. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And that common denominator stays the same. So our B value is a negative 1 half. Now that we have the slope and the y-intercept, we can just plug those right into our equation. So y equals, our slope was positive 3 halves. Oops, not 3x, positive 3 halves, x. And then our y-intercept is a negative 0.5, so minus, or a negative 1 half, so minus 1 half. I guess maybe I didn't necessarily talk about the steps when I was doing them, but we found our slope. We plug in our slope and one of our ordered pairs for the x and y. We solve for b and now we have an equation. Okay, let's try another one. Just make sure that that process is making sense. So write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that passes through the point 5, 4 and negative 1, 6. So first, do you have the y-intercept? We don't have the y-intercepts. So we're going to have to go through that process again. We're going to find the, um, the slope first. So we'll label our ordered pairs x1, y1, x2, y2. 
our slope is equal to y2 minus y1, so 6 minus 4, over x2 minus x1, negative 1 minus 5. 6 minus 4 is 2, negative 1 minus 5 is a negative 6. Can you reduce a 2 over negative 6? You can, and that negative I'm going to throw up to the top and just say a negative 1 third. It's okay to move the negative to the top because this fraction is negative and I still have a negative fraction. So there's our slope. Now we're going to take our y equals mx plus b form, plug in some values that we know. I'm going to grab the first ordered pair and use that x and y value. So I can see that the y value is a 4, so I'm going to plug that in for y, equals our slope is negative 1 third, times our x value is 5 plus b. And we solve for b. So let's make that a 5 over 1. We can multiply. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. 3 times 1 is 3 plus b. To get b alone, we have a negative 5 thirds. Let's go ahead and add 5 thirds to both sides. And our b value, which is our y-intercept, is equal to 4 plus 5 thirds. And I wrote it separate because I want to go ahead and get that common denominator. So multiply by 3. And really, we have 12 thirds. That's the same value as 4 plus 5 thirds. Add the numerators, you get 17. And the thirds stays the same. Now we have our y-intercept. So our equation, plug into y equals mx plus b. y equals, the slope is negative 1 third x, and our y-intercept is positive 17 thirds.